Um, there was a person who lived in Tzfat, not far away from here. It made a huge change in the whole Kali Sfra. A huge change. Not in all, that's not the right word, not in all Kali Sfra, but in most of Kali Sfra. Most of Kali Sfra. And the name of that person was Darizal, Rabbi Tzchok, Luria. He lived in Mitzrayim, in Egypt, and then he came to, to live in Tzfas. And he had a Talmud that was a, had a good Kesher with him. You only listened carefully because the Shira was for you. And uh, and he came to Tzfas and he met this, this Talmud, Reb Chaim Vital, and they together learned things that's called, in, in Chazal call it the Pardes, meaning the Chelek Hasod, the Sod of the Torah. And from that day, if they finished to learn, we're in Shin Lamed Gimel, I don't know in, the, in the English, it's 500 years ago. And from then came a huge change in Kali Shol. From that special kind of Torah came four big rabbis and made four different ways of, as in Hebrew it's called Zramim. I don't know how you call it, Zramim. Streams. streams. Yeah. yeah, streams of of, of, of Avodos Hashem. One of them is the Baal Shem Tov, that he's based on Torah Sarizal. And we know the Olam Chasidi, the Chasidish world. And we have the second one is the the Gro. The Gro is also based on the, the Arizal. And that's the Misnagdim, the ones that were against the Chasidus. And then we have the third one, it's called the Ramchal. And he also was based on the, on, the, on, the, on the Rizal. And the fourth one was the Rashash. And that's, the Mordecha, that's Rabbi Shalom Shalabi. And he used to live in Eretz Yisrael. He's a, he's a Yemeni. And he went, he came through Babel, from, from Babel to Eretz Yisrael. And he had a big yeshiva. It's called Yeshiva Big El. And the, the, the Sparty world likes to go with his Mahalich. And that's the, it's all the Mahalich that comes up from the Rizal. Something very, very, very interesting. Because till then, Things didn't look the same way. So all these special ways of avoda came out through this Arizal thing, and that's why I want to speak about why, what, what's kashrut to the nefesh chayim because I want to understand. Well, I want you to, to you want you to understand a very specific nikkura. One of the problems that we have today in the modern world is people are not familiar with spiritual stuff, meaning what I'm trying to say, it's hard for me to say it in English because it's, 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 it's whatever. And so the thing is like this, everyone believes in this room that he's made out of two parts, a neshama and a goof, a body and a soul. I believe it, everyone believes here he has two halakim, right? We all believe in it. And the question comes up, why to make two pieces? Hashem couldn't make one, this one unit not neshama, not a goof, something echad. And chutz mizeh, that other problem is that a regular person doesn't relate to his neshama, meaning who feels his neshama as like something, I feel, you, people don't feel two parts. Don't feel like I have a body part and I have a neshama part. And be flat in the, in the modern world that we see, it's like it's more rationalist in the, in the modern world that, you know, we believe the science, whatever, how, how the way they... I don't know how you say approach, metzigim, how you say metzigim? Project. Project, whatever. Uh, there's only a physical, world, a physical world. They don't maybe say it, but that's how it looks like. You know, when they, when, when they, when they speak out how things work, evolution and things like that, I'm not talking about evolution is right or not right, that's not the sugi, but I'm just explaining, trying to explain that a person, a regular person in the modern world, or days doesn't really relate to the thing that he has in neshama. What does that mean? Does he really relate that he has in neshama? What does it mean to me in my avoda that I have a neshama? What does that mean? Why to tell me that I have a neshama? So I have to know that I have a piece in me. It's going to go up to Gan Eden, and I'm going to get there schar like mazem mishane. So even if I don't have, I'm going to have a goof here. And then I don't know how I'm going to get up there and get the Shemazek Kashu. What, what, what's the old Bria here? Why does he have So this is, this is a point. <coughs> also the Nefesh Chaim, Also Balatanya. Also the Ramchan. Also the Rashash. All four of them are trying to make a person to build his Avoda through, his, through the way he relates to his Neshama.
And that is the, what we're going to speak about. This is Hashem, if we'll have the time we'll to speak about it. And a person is supposed to relate to Neshama. What does it mean a person relates to his Neshama? The Neshama is Chelech Elo Kamimal, meaning it comes up from the Olamot Ha'elyonim. What does that mean? Does it mean nothing? It means that a person has is supposed to have a Kesha with the Kaddish Baruch Hu because it comes up from there and it's Chelek Elokai Malach, supposed to have a Kesha with him. If I would ask someone in this room, I don't know, maybe someone would, would say, but for sure me wouldn't say that. If Pitoma Kaddish Baruch Hu, Bichvodo Ube'atzmo, walks into the room right now, Who's going to jump up out of his chair and run and hug a Kaddish Baruch Hu? Babemet. In real, not stam, you know, not playing games. To jump up and run and hug a Kaddish Baruch Hu, let's say Kivyochal walks into the door right now. If Moshe walked in, he's not a Kaddish Baruch Hu yet, but he's almost, but I'm saying, he walked, yeah, he, Kaddish Baruch Hu run, walks into the room and we, who's going to jump up on a Kaddish Baruch Hu and start hugging him and kissing him? You'd be burnt, you'd be burnt to death, like like the uh, Israel said that in the house Sinai, they, they can't cope with it. They're going to all be evaporated into nothingness because that, the, that's true. That's so true. Speaking out the first two mitzvahs. That, that's true. That's true. But that's because the Kodesh Baruch Hu was misgal in his in his kol yichol. Meaning, it says in, it says in the Rambam, they were sowing, they saw it in on the body. It was, it was a special way, and he showed echumim hofia. Yeah, he presented himself. himself. But if you will present himself in a way that's not scare away, and you won't, you won't be upright. If he has red Moshe's smile. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, he has Moshe's smile. So who's going to jump on a Kaddish Baruch Hu and hug him and kiss him? Sorry to tell you, I don't believe no one's going to do that. And it's a big question. Respect. Huh? Respect. The first thing that we do after we mekabel all Malchus Shomayim, in Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. The first thing is to do, Ve'ahavta et Hashem Elokecha, V'chol levavecha, V'chol nafshecha, U'v'chol meodecha. And it's not something theoretical. It's supposed to be something real. And a person knows what, what love means. He knows what's to love his wife, his kids, his parents, if he has a good relationship with them. We're talking about the same kind of relationship, but a little bit more. I want to read you the Rambam, just to understand. I don't have the Rambam. Let's see if we have a Rambam here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mado. Mado. I want to read you this Rambam. It's okay, he's going to get a Rambam, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. And he wants to, to uh, how do you say it? How do you say it? Describe. To describe how it looks like a person that loves a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And it's something very, I think it's fascinating, the way the Rambam presents it. Let's see, let's, let's see what he says. So what I'm reading now of the Ramban, it's in Hilchos Tshuva, I think it's in Parakas. One second, I'll tell you in a second. No, I'm sorry, it's in Parak Yud. And listen to this very well. Vekitzad hi... Ha'ahava ha'reuya. Yonasan, please help me to translate it. What's the appropriate uh, form of love? Yeah. Who, sheyohav et Hashem, ahava gedola, he's supposed to love Hashem, a big love, whatever. Raba. Tremendous. Aza ad me'od. Fierce? Very strong. Fierce, strong. Powerful. 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 Yeah. Ad shetehen nafshok shura be'ahavat Hashem Told his, uh, his soul will be tied up in the love of God Oh, it sounds good, you understand? 100% <laughs> Excellent Bound V'nim tzo shoyge bo tomit He's always thirsting for him Thirsting? It means what? He's like tzame? Shoge is a... Uh, he's like a... Uh, what? Mesumam I don't know how Ka'elu, and he brings a, a mashal, a, a, no, a, a, yeah. Ka'elu choyle ha'ahava. Lovesick, yeah. Vidyuk, she'ein da'atam pnuya me'ahavat ota isha. 
You can't stop thinking about one specific woman. Shuhu shogeh batamid. He's like all the time thinking about her. What did he say? What was the word he said? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds better. Bain beshivto when he's sitting down. Bain bebekuma when he's walking. When he's standing up, when he's eating and when he's eating and drinking, he's like the whole time thinking about her. What? Okay, I don't know, I don't know what that word means, so I'm sorry. Yeter mize, tihiye ahavat Hashem belevo avav. Yeter mize. More than that, I think it's a better thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think you want to understand, right? Plus minus, we understood what the Ramam says. Ramam holds, that's what it is over here, look, if, whoever doesn't believe, that a person is supposed to love a Kaddish Baruch Hu more, more, more yetir, than what you would do when you would fall in love with this lady and like, you know, he's like going crazy. So that means, if a Kaddish Baruch Hu would walk into the room, you, a person was supposed to be jumping on him and kissing him and hugging him, whatever. And we all feel it, it Maybe I'll be scared from him, maybe I'll ask him about Bakasha, but I won't go jump on him, start kissing him, hugging him. So what's the story? And that's the first commandment, the the first mitzvah we do, we are supposed to, we, we, the, that we do after Kabbalah Salam So what's the story? Why it doesn't happen? Why we don't feel like that? Someone has an answer? We have, we have a mixture. What? We have a mixture in our relationship with God that is a combination between of love and awe. You know, and and when something oh. is the awe is so powerful. That's true, but the Rambam it, holds that with that awe, you still have to have this ahava, this love. Right, Yaakov. Maybe the problem is that when we go to sleep, we're thinking about our pillow. And we're eating, we're thinking about our fish and chips. And when we're sitting, we're worried about the, how comfortable the cushion is. And our mind is the more uh, connected to those things. So therefore... We're not thinking about it much more. We're not building so the love. You, so you think if I would think about a Kodesh Baruch Hu, make, oh, there's a lot of people who think about a Kodesh Baruch Hu, but I don't know, it's going to make them jump and kiss a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Because it's a kind of, it's it sounds almost like it's a concept. Like you can't like you could say a beautiful woman, but you, Hashem, what what was Hashem? Like how do you attach yourself to something that you, you can't see? How you can't jump on him. It's Hashem. It's a different Rambam. We're saying be, be, be. A mashal, a parable. No, the part that, I guess that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like we don't have like a, a connection. He's not a goof. And lo goof. And lo. Right. So what is he? Is an idea? He's we don't even, we, We're not even allowed to picture him. We can't picture him. So. So but when we talk about. Abraham's relationship with God. That is one of pure love, it seems to me. Abraham and, 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 and Exactly. Yeah. But Hachad Yitzchak, that's not the same. Right? Do we think that Yitzchak loves Hashem less than Abraham? Or that he has a different sense of the relationship of what the love is? I believe that Abraham Avinu and also Yitzchak Avinu and also Yaakov Avinu, all three of them wanted to be Mekayim all the mitzvahs, like it says in Chazal, and they were be Mekayim Ahavas Hashem. So I would believe they were trying to get somewhere there with Ahavas Hashem. It's true with the more where dominant... Is, where is Pachad domi- Yitzchak? No, it's true with more dominant by the Avoda of Yitzchak was Pachad, was the <coughs> thing that's called Gvura. And Avram Vinu is more presenting Chesed. That's true. Right. Well, the Maya says two of them have the commandment that you're supposed to be loving Hashem. But would they both run and jump and hug Hashem? Or would they Yitzchak pause? Would. And say, yeah. Listen, the truth is, I'll tell you the truth, I never met him. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like it, yes. Because they're, they're all three of them, Avram Yitzchak, Yaakov, and, uh, and David and Melech, were the ones that are, it's called like Chazal, the way the Chazal presented. And they were Ragli Hamer Kava, meaning their, their Kesher to Israel was so strong that it's a shoot. 
No, Yoni, what do you have to say about it? Well, I mean, it's, no, it, what do you mean? It's very interesting that, like, it, you see how how afraid all of us were about Trump. That's basically. Yeah, that's all I want to speak about right this second. Like, I mean, like, like it's just, yeah. until I'm going to address me, like, he fell down on the floor shaking, but I'm supposed to. Right? Like, right. it's not. I, I mean, the Yaku was from place to place, and he's like, wow, that was a close brush with the mouth. I'm going to. You know, I, like, he's like, he's okay, like, but I'll leave him on her. Like, what's the. We don't have, what what parallel do we have for having Ava or something that's so we're like we're in good love and wives and children and stuff like we're in charge, you know? But what's that like what does it even I don't know what that means even. Video, but we see this uh you see what the Rama writes down. He explains what's the Ha'ava Chazal read We all believe here in this room we're supposed to be Mikhaimit, no? It can't be if Hashem wants us to be Mikhaim something, we can't do it. That's for sure. Everyone's masking, right? Because if not, there's no, there's no pchina, how do you say pchina, of schar ve'onesh. Because if you can't do something, you can't get an onesh on it. You can't get a uh, punishment at it. Right? So it's not shy. It can't be we can't be Mikhaim. And not only we're supposed to be Mikhaim, the thing it takes the most... I would say emotion, the, the emotions and the whole personality of the person, whatever. It's called a yeshut chelo. I say yeshut in English. It's essence. All the essence is, is ahava. That's what a person feels when he falls in love with someone. It's all, and, and here we we're trying to do something. We don't even know, like, he, like, like, like Rabbi Traub said, it, you don't, we don't even know how you can't picture him. You can't, and, and how I'm supposed to relate to something that I can't even picture. Not, no, I can't know nothing about him. Mm-hmm. And with all my essence, it's my mashayach bechal. What's the story? And more than that, and that's we only touched that point. Everyone in this room is a scare from a kaddish baruch <coughs> Everyone, there's more. There's people in more. There's people less, but everyone's scared from a kaddish baruch You know, if they won't be good, they won't have good terms with them. They're, they're in bad shape. And this is something that most of the people do relate to, and that makes them. Fakir makes them go the opposite way. They, 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 it's like, it's like, not, let's, let's not fight. My Harusa told me he lives, he used to live in North End, North End, a story from England. So in the United Synagogue, one of the United Synagogues, there was a rub there. A real true story. And he used to dive in there. It was huge. They have huge shuls there with big, big shuls with a lot of people. He used to come. So on Rosh Hashanah, on Yom Kippur, or Rosh Hashanah, I don't remember the story 100%. It was a guy who used to walk in, put a yavik on his head, walk in, say a couple words, and just walk, take off his head and keep him walk out of the show. Once a year, the guy used to, he had a place, he had a place, he's a member. Once a year, would come to show. So the Rav was going crazy. What? He's a member of the show. He never he never steps into the show, doesn't come to the Simchas, nothing. He, doesn't, he just comes once a year on Rosh Hashanah. Let, let's say it was Rosh Hashanah. Says a couple words, then and walk. I don't know. And walks out. So he was he was going crazy, you know. Mm-hmm. So one day there was a funeral somewhere there. It was Olavaya, from a guy from the show. And more or less, pachot lo pachot velo yoter. So the guy comes to the to the funeral. So the rabbi he said, oh, okay, this is this is the his davnut. This is the opportunity that I have to ask the question. He was like, how much going nuts? What the guy is doing? <coughs> I don't, I don't want to be nosy, but I have a question that's going crazy. Please help me out. I'm not much going nuts. Just please, if you could tell me. I have, a, I have a stupid question to ask you. Please tell me. I want you to answer the question. Okay. You never come to the show the whole year. You don't, you don't step inside. You don't care less. You come on Rosh Hashanah for like five or six minutes. I don't know how much. You just come there, speak something, and walk out. You just tell me what you're speaking, what you're speaking to God. What's the story? So what's the question? It's something very posh. I walk in, I tell Kush Wilson, I feel well, my wife feels well, I have a good salary, please don't mix in. And walks out. <laughs> a real story. <laughs> yeah, just don't mix in. <laughs> people have fear from God, people are scared of God, God is going to run after them. Someone told me, uh, uh, he has a, how do you say, has a feeling, he, had a, he has a feeling that Hashem is trying to find him. Like, we're out of fall down. Like, yeah. 
אה, יצא זה חז"ל, אין הקדוש ברוך הוא בא בטרוניה לבריאו איסו. השם דוזה לקאום ואף, הייסי טרוניה, אין לנו הייסי לאינגליש. To, his, to the brio, to, to, the, to the people, meaning Hashem knows where the person comes from, He knows his issues, He knows all his, all his problems and all what he's going through, and he's, He loves Babi Tuni Ali Brio Yisrael, so why people feel that Hashem is after them, trying to catch them? And that's, not, that's something that ruins the person, the way to, to, ruins him to, he doesn't, he doesn't want to relate to something that's scaring him or trying to ruin him. And there's another way people think, that if I become with love to Hashem, I have to be kosher with Him, has to, it means that I have to be mevater, um, to, mevater uh, give up, to give up on all my life, the, the style of the life that I have, whatever. And so, you know, I, I'm very happy with what I am now, and I have a good time, so I... Just let's, I'll, let's, like, like the same guy, the same thing that he said. I'll do what you tell me to do, just let's not, I'll have my life, you'll do, I'll tell you, you want me to dive in three times? Okay, I'll go dive in three times, no problem. You want me to, you want me to do this, not to do bore? Okay, I won't do bore. Okay, no, no, I won't do bore. This, I'll, it's okay, but I want to have a nice, a good salary, nice couches, like you said, a good kitchen with an island, and all the good stuff. That's what a person feels. Not, and I don't, I'm not telling you, a lot of people feel like that. And we have to understand, so here comes in right in this specific point there is a Zohar it says every mitzvah and it's not with Yira ve'ahava lo yipol chol le'elo meaning it doesn't, it can't butterfly, you know, can't fly, can't can't go up to the mitzvah won't doesn't mean no pol chol le'elo, doesn't rise, fly, rise, rise up. up, it's not the real word it's not rise, it's not zorech, pol chol pol chol means has, sorry, sorry, sorry. Doesn't blossom. Wings. Yeah, it doesn't blossom up to Shamayim. Meaning when a person does a mitzvah, the way he's supposed to do the mitzvah has to be come from a place that he he's, he has a fear from God, but not a real fear, meaning whatever it's called, like awe, it, it, to really do like what he commanded. That's the awe, the, that's the year right he's supposed to have. <clears throat> And do it from a, from a place that he really wants, that he really has the Keshet HaKashbuch and he wants to do the mitzvah. That's called Yira and Ahava. If a person does a mitzvah, this, you know, this be Yotze Zayim, just to be make, to do the mitzvah, because to be Yotze, so I won't have bad terms with the Kedush Baruch Hu, that's not the sugya. So, so here it comes, sorry, so I'll turn off the phone once again. Here comes the Arizal. And wrote a whole sefer. It is called Kisve Arizal. It tries to, to deal with this specific thing. And from here comes out the the, the Baal Shem Tov, the Nefesh Achai, meaning the the, the, the Groa, the Rashash, and the Ramchal. How a person is going to relate and have a kesher with the Kodesh Baruch Hu? Because the Maise, Olam Azeh, it's Dome, Le Prol's door Bifnei Olam Abba. We all know that. Everyone's, no one's going to be here forever. We're here only for a bit of amount of time. And then we're leaving to the next world. The next world is Netzach. What is the difference between Netzach and time, Zman? And Hashva, Netzach means there's no time. We can't understand that. No one in the room here could understand what the word Netzach means. Because we don't have a tfisa, we were built in a in a ma'arechet. I say ma'arechet in a system where we could only understand time, so we can't understand what's not called time. But netzach doesn't have no kesher to to zman, and a person has your shivim, shmonim, tishim, mea shana. Like it says in, like it says in the pasuk, in bigvur shmonim shano. So we're here only for uh, only a bit amount of time. Beyachas to to uh, to the Netzach and how much we take care about that Netzach now I'm not trying to make something sound like very firm I'm trying to explain that there's we have we see here there's problems that are have that having you walk out and you look into you look at the world people are only thinking about this world no one thinks it's going to happen to them everyone thinks for to me it won't happen maybe it's going to happen to him but to me it won't happen I'll stay there. and everyone has his end one day. So we really have to understand what's blocking us and making us feel not not we don't want to think about these stuff. Why we can't relate to Kadosh Baruch Hu, Why we're scared from Kadosh Baruch Hu, Why we're not supposed to feel like we're feeling like Kadosh Baruch Hu, And all that together 
This is the the what the Nefesh HaChaim we're trying to go learn, and the Tanya. That's the Mahalat of the Baal Shem Tov. And the Ramchal are all trying to make a person to know how to... Um, what's the word? Um, I don't know. I don't even know what I want to say in Hebrew. That's a, I, I missed that. Not English, not Hebrew. I don't know what I want to say. Um, to... Yeah, to connect, but I'm finding a different word. It's a to, to, you know, we'll say to connect, but I don't, connect means I, 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 you have something to do and then you want to connect. Here is to mamish, do the, the, what you're, the, for this you came to the world. The purpose. That's what we're trying to, to talk about. How a person is in a, Fill his purpose, the mission, whatever. So that's that's then that's the nekuda we're, we're trying to get into. So that so the nefesh Chaim is going to tell us, but I, I don't think we'll go through the nefesh Chaim you know page by page because it's going to make everyone fall asleep. So there's no any to do. So we'll go through the rayonot of the nefesh Chaim slowly, slowly to understand how a person has a neshama and he has a goof. <coughs> And how a person has to know how to relate to the thing that's called neshama, to relate to something that's called lev, and know how to make himself start having a kesher with a kodesh baruch Hu. And it won't ruin his life. It won't change his life. Meaning, people like people feel that it's going to make a huge change. It's going to ruin the whole style of life that he has till today. He doesn't have to know kesher to what a style of life. Every person. Ba'ashir Husham, meaning where he is. The Ramchal writes in the ending of the Masila Sisharim that every person in any situation he is, in every status he is, he could relate to Kudush Baruch Hu and have a Kesher with Kudush Baruch Hu. He could have the Chasidus. That's how he calls it. You don't have to be Dafka, a Litvish guy like me. It's in Sankola. You could do whatever you want. That's what the Ramchal says. But we have to know what we're supposed to do to relate to that point. <coughs> So the first thing is, I would like to, people, if you, for the next time we meet, if you want, if I'll we'll meet next time, I don't know if you want me anymore. Uh, how mu- a person would think with himself, he has a couple minutes in the day to think, when he's walking with himself, wherever, do I relate to the thing that I have in Hashama or not? Meaning, we know, we all know in our brains that we have the Hashama. Do we feel it in our heart? There's a very big difference between head and a heart. I want to explain to you what I mean. Everyone, I, it's sitting here, I didn't tell him not even one chidush, meaning no, something new. Everyone knew what I was saying, like something, nothing new I said. But we all know it in our head. But there's a huge difference when a person has something in his head, when he has it in his heart. It says, Viyadata hayom, that's in the head, to bring it down to the, to the heart. What does it mean that you have something in your heart? So the Ramam writes in the Shmona Prakim, and it's written also in the Mora and Avuchim. And it's written all out. In every play, you can see the Mishle a hundred times. All the Mephoshim, the heart, it's called the Melech. Meaning, if you, I would ask a person, what is the heart, the limb in his, in, his, in his body? It is the king. So most of the people would say their brain. That's what they, that's what they would say. And Chazal, and all the Rishonim, and all the Achronim hold the opposite, and they say, no, the heart is the, is the Melech. And the Pasuk it tries to describe this. It says, Melech, that's a Pasuk in Koalas, Melech Zokin Vexil, and there's a Yelet Chochom and Miskin, and Rashi explains, what's the, what's the Melech Zokin Vexil? The Melech is the Yetzer Hara. And the, who's the Yelet Chochom and Miskin? That's the Yetzer Tov, it's in, in the Seichel. It, the person is laying in bed. That's the story. And the Yitz are told, the Seichel tells him, listen, hey buddy, get up. And he goes, I don't want to get up. I'm not getting up. Then the brain tells him, don't get upset. If you get upset, you'll ruin your relationship. You'll ruin your Kesha with whatever. But I want to get upset if I get upset. So what happens here? We see that a lot of people know tons of stuff in their brains. They know so much, but Lemaisa, in their 
life and their the way they, they live, the brain doesn't 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 lomashpia. I say lomashpia doesn't uh, influence on the on the actions of the person. So who's the one that does take? Who's the one that is the sholet? Is the the ruler? That's the lave. The Rambam explains the lave means not the heart goes boom 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 boom, meaning they're the kohos. I'll just explain to you. This is something that's People who are rationalists will have a little problem with it, but we'll speak with that until they'll understand what I, mean, what, I want to, what, I want, what I want to say. When I insult someone, if someone gets insulted, or someone got frightened very, very much, where does he feel it? Right. Try What? You feel it Over here in the chest. You feel it in your chest. Yeah. In your chest. In the, in the area over here, you don't feel it in your head. You don't feel it in your fingers, you don't feel it in your toes. You feel it over here in the chest. See, go go see if someone feels if you're if you have if you're very aware about yourself about your feelings, you'll see it in every kind of feeling. If it's kin ah, jealousy, if it's uh, ahava, love, it's all over here. You don't feel it in your head. You don't feel things in your head. You feel it over here. Why do you feel it over here and you don't feel it over here? But if if everything is coming through the brain and all the nerves over here and everything is over here. There's nothing there in the chest. It's only two lungs and a heart, a little bit junk when we eat, so it gets stuck there. And that's all. There's nothing there. There's ribs. There's, so why do you feel it over here? So you have, here comes something that people have, it's hard for them to accept it, but it's true and I could show it to them in a, different, in a, in a couple different ways. And a person has a tzelem elokim, meaning he has a neshama. The neshama has three mekomot, three places that he, it is shochen betocham, meaning he, he resides. What? He resides. Resides there. One is in the kaved, and one is called the heart, and one's called the, the brain. The kira is over here, and the, feel, the ritzonos, ritzonos means the, the drives, the drives, the whatever. How is it? Desires. Desires. Come from this place. The Rama says, the lave is yeah. The lave is mekoha retzoynos, meaning the, the retzon. So when a person wants things and he gets when he, he wants to get upset, everything here. So that, that's why all the rishonim, all the rishonim hold that the lave is the melech of the goof, meaning he's the one that's in the lamais to do whatever he wants to do. He's the strong koach, and he could hit through, and he's going to do what's going to happen, and nothing could stop him. It's very, very hard to stop the, the lake to do what he's do, to, to do what he wants to do. You could stop him because you have koach abchira through your brain, and we'll speak about it. But the ikar of the koach of the adam comes from his lave. That's why it's called the the, the lave is a melech, and he whatever he's gonna, whatever he will want to do, that's what, what that's what he's going to do. So we we have to know. When, what's the time? I don't want to think. Oh, we have, we have five, six more minutes. So. We have to know what is the way, what is the tools that will help us to know how to bring down things that we know here in our brain. And like I told you, we know everything. We know what this olam is, is olam zmani. We all know that there is olam but we know there's ganen and we know there's ganen. We know what a person has to do. We know what a person has to be mivater himself a little bit from the Taivus Olam. So we all know this stuff, but Lamaisa, Lamaisa, the way I live, I live... But this is not in the brain? What? To be in It's not in the head? It's in the head? No, we understand in our brains that we are supposed to be... No, you have to do... You do it with the brains, not with the heart. Oh. No, you but could force you your heart to do things. Let's say, I'll, I'll bring you an example. You want to get upset at someone, you want to kill him. <clears throat> yeah, you get so upset at anyone, you want to break his bones. Right? So now your heart is the melech, you're going to do it. The piton comes a guy with a gun. He says, if you touch that person, I'm going to shoot you. So you could tell yourself, your no. Brain, so your brain goes out here, you're crazy. Stop. So you'll stop. You for sure could stop yourself. But the mice, by yom yom, I said, in the daily, uh, whatever. And daily you, yeah, you listen to your heart. Not you. A person listens to his heart. What, what does it mean when we're told not to follow our hearts in our heart? Meaning, your heart wants something, cause because he saw something. When you see it, it makes you want it. That's a whole circuit we have to speak about it in a different, a different time. 
then if it's something you're not allowed to do it, so you have to stop yourself from doing it. Your brain you stops you. The brain, the koach of khira, the meaning there's a koach of khira in your brain, it could tell yourself you're not allowed to do that, you can't do that. So you won't do it. But I'm saying in the, mo- in the, in the regular, basically the, the regular, by, by yom yom, the, the, so, the, so the person does whatever he wants to do. He does whatever his rotson wants to do. I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to live like this, I want to have to do that. That's the person who wants to live. And he, in his brain, he knows he knows all this knowledge, but he doesn't do with it nothing. And the reason is because the, the, the place to bring that things down from the brain to the heart is one of the hardest things to do. And that's the struggle of every person in the world here, told Diaz Goel Tzedek. And we have to learn the way how to, to bring things down. And that's where it comes in the Fishachayim. That's where it comes in the Balatanya and all the Bali Musar and the Ramchal and everyone. That all comes from the Koch of the Arizal and, the, and he comes from the Zohar. That's trying to make a person get to have a relationship with, uh, to relate to his Tzelem Elohim. When he relates to his Tzelem Elohim, then he could start doing things with himself. But Lemaise, we live in this world that it's so Echolim uh, Gashmi. Yeah, but no, materiality at home. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, so it better. makes a person feel that this is like this is real and then Hashem is not real. We can't start no point. We can't start nothing in the world. You have to understand, people, that if we don't relate to our Neshama, there's no way in the world you could really daven, feel a shlema, a real daven. People daven, people could be mechaven, but it's a struggle. A person is supposed to get to get to a, get to a point and he, when he daven to Hashem. It's it's he's having a do uh, siyach I call it a, 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 a yeah, but but a conversation, dialogue. Yeah, a dialogue, but not a stam dialogue, a dialogue of of, of um, intimate dialogue, intimate conversation. Yeah, be, yeah, that's that's the word. Yeah. What is it? It has like an intimacy with, he has like a, whatever he said it better than me. Personal conversation, personal conversation, private conversation. Yeah, but not some private conversation, private conversation and he feels that he has a, someone he is so close to it, takes care of him so much and he has, he listens to him, whatever he wants to say. And if you get into that point very deeply, you won't believe it, why the Chazan, Pitam started, Chazor Sashat. Your mamish gone right into that like it's supposed to be one of the one of the major questions that I just saw once from the Rishonim is one of the halachas are that the tefillah is not allowed to be kemasoi yeah that's a lotion yeah tefillah uh, asula lihiyot kemasoi that's a kemfisha tefillah shal kemasoi is a lot tefillah there's Rishonim that hold it if someone feels masoi masoi means a uh, burden yeah, I have to do something. I have to finish with it and take it off of my head. He's not yotzi the chovas tefila. We don't hold like that Allah lemai said. But there's shitos in the rishonim hold like that. So Chazal don't let me to feel like that, and they tell me that I have to daven three times a day. Maybe do it once a day. I'll try to meet moded with that. I say meet moded with that. Struggle with that. Let's try that one three times a day. In the middle one, people be fired, people go to work. That's the hardest time to daven. You're like mamish in the middle of doing something and to stop and start davening. It's and why it won't be kemasoi. That's the make that's gonna make a chi. Echoing michshol. It's a what? Obstacle. Yeah, to to make a person have masoi with his davening, and the Shem wants to daven three times a day. So the truth is, and that's a simple answer. That's that that like I said. Because if a person really knows how to dive in the right way, he's waiting for the three times. Because the whole Indian, like I said, it's supposed to be a feel. Uh, it has to be uh, something that a person goes into like it's like meditatia. How do you say meditatia in English? Meditation. Meditation. meditation yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of words in Hebrew that Americans talk. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's not meditation, it's not meditation, but it's something it makes a person like he, he, it's supposed to take all his essence, all his mitzias, and to be mamish mukubar dekus baruchu. A person can't do that if he doesn't have a koch, he has a kesher to his neshama and feel his neshama keep shuto. There's no way in the world because the only way you can relate with kesher is with your soul and not with your goof 
and we'll speak about it with Hashem next time.